Welcome to Monster Trail Cams, your eerie outpost in the digital wilderness. This is the one-stop hub where we bring the unknown and the unexplainable right to your screen. Our channel uncovers mysterious creatures and spine-chilling sights from every corner of the globe, captured on our network of trail cameras. Through storm or shine, day or night, our lenses stay vigilant so you can experience the thrill of the strange and the extraordinary. Remember, here at Monster Trail Cams, you never know what might creep into frame. So brace yourself and join us as we explore the world's unseen mysteries. Next up, we have a short clip of a medium-sized rodent, possibly a beaver, hiding in the grass, but that's not all that is going on here. The creature hunkers down and freezes, a known defense for small prey animals to avoid being eaten by predators. While maybe not the best course of action should the hungry predator rely on scent, it often works against predators who are vision-based. So what is this little creature hiding from? Take a look at who casually walks across the frame in the next moment. The beast is too large to fit within the confines of the camera lens, but we don't need the full picture to know we are looking at the legs of a Bigfoot. Luckily for our rodent friend, the Bigfoot seems completely uninterested. The video quality is not ideal, but we are still able to examine the creature's gait view how easily it strides on two legs. Some biologists theorize that the Bigfoot sightings reported across North America are actually a large, undocumented species of gorilla, but videos like this seem to disprove that idea. While primates are indeed capable of standing on two legs, they do not walk with the same ease as humans do. But then again, we are assuming this video is an authentic capture and not an edit. We'd love to hear your Bigfoot theories down in the comments. Next, we have a clip of a dangerous cryptid encounter that just might be too wild to be true. With the paranormal community's rise in internet popularity, we have to sift through more and more fake encounters to discover the true ones. Something about this one seems fake to me, but I'll let you be the judge. Let's get into it. A group of three young men is investigating a strange disturbance that was happening around their campsite after dark. The men, without thinking of the potential consequences, followed something into the woods. They figured it was maybe an animal or a nefarious person. They thought they could scare it off being they were a decent-sized group. More often than not, a group of three or more hikers will scare away most predators. However, that would not be the case this time. We see a man in a white t-shirt standing about 20 yards in front of the cameraman. The cameraman, with some trepidation, follows him into the woods with the other member of the camping party. The man in the white shirt seems too brave for his own good. And then, the unthinkable happens. Out of nowhere, a creature grabs the man and tackles him to the ground. No, be nice. Okay. I don't know where this thing is or when it's gonna... <laughs> the creature is difficult to see in the split second it appears in the frame, but we can make out enough identifying characteristics to tell it is most likely a crawler. The creature is so pale that its skin almost glows in the darkness. There is only one cryptid that fits that description. As soon as the beast jumps on the man, his friend runs to his aid. Unfortunately, the video ends there, but we can assume the man's friend managed to rescue him, or we would have heard about this attack on the news. What do you think about this? Could it be real, or are we looking at a work of pure fiction? Next, we have two boys out at night exploring a creepy location around their hometown. If you've ever seen the movie IT, you'll know to stay well enough away from sewers, but that's exactly where these two boys end up. The footage isn't the clearest since it was taken in low light conditions, but we can clearly see a large grate over a foreboding looking sewer entrance. Look to the right side of the grate and you will see a creature rising from a crouching position. But what is it? It is difficult to make out any identifying features, but it almost looks like a monkey. We've all heard of the numerous reports of Bigfoot, but there have been sightings of other primates throughout North America as well. These creatures are much smaller and often described as a mix between a human and a monkey. It is unknown what they actually are, but there have been enough reports of them to make me think they could be real. If I had to make a guess, this creature appears to be one of those monkey people. The two boys filming didn't stick around to get any more footage of the beast, so we won't be able to make a positive identification. In hindsight, 
They were smart to get out of there when they did. While Bigfoot seems to be mostly harmless, reports of the monkey people have been a little more frightening. They don't seem to be quite as peaceful. Take a look at this photograph of a calico cat. The camera used to capture the beautiful house pet was clearly not made for night photography, as there is a large reflection of the flash directly in the center of the image. But that isn't the reason it is featured here on our channel. Take a look in the shadows, directly behind the cat. What do you see? There are another set of eyes glowing against the darkness. While you might jump to the conclusion it is another cat, take a closer look. You can see the faint outline of a face. The creature sporting those uncanny glowing eyes appears to have some resemblance to a human, but it is anything but. The mysterious cryptid's identity is unable to be confirmed, so we can only guess. Whatever it is, it appears to be fixated on the cat. There was no context given with this submission, so we can only hope the cat made it safely inside after this unnerving photo was taken. What are your thoughts? What do you think the creature is? Just about every culture has some version of a fairy. These are tiny humanoid creatures that live in colonies separate from human society. They are often associated with nature and have often been described as tricky or troublesome folk. In some cultures, if you are experiencing a bot of bad luck, you are recommended to leave offerings of food and drink for the fairies in the woods. Some people still do this, but it is regarded as simple superstition. I don't believe we've talked about fairies yet on this channel, but let me ask you a question. Do you think they could actually be real? We have a short video clip depicting what appears to be a fairy flying around a nest, similar to that of a wasp hive. This image doesn't depict the cute, dainty type of fairy that we have come to know from modern folklore. This creature bears a humanoid appearance but with elongated extremities and appears to be entirely hairless. The videographer doesn't seem to have much of an encounter with the creature, so we can't speak on the rumors that fairies are troublemakers, but the creature doesn't seem to want to interact with the people surrounding it. That is, if this footage is authentic. Let us know what you think about it. We start today's video with an unnerving video taken from a home security camera pointed towards a family's backyard. The family living in the home had been dealing with a number of unexplained disturbances around their house. Thinking it could be the work of some neighborhood kids or perhaps even criminals, they decided to install security cameras. This was definitely not what they expected to find. It appears we have some sort of supernatural entity haunting the location. You can see it clear as day float across the screen. Ghosts and spirits often show different forms on film, so it is difficult to say exactly what this family is dealing with, but we know it is not from this world. It almost appears to have a human-like outline, but it's impossible to say for certain. What we do know is that this family isn't dealing with rowdy neighbor kids, but rather something paranormal. Its true identity remains a mystery. The family reported that they have contacted a team of paranormal investigators to find a way to rid their property of this being, but we haven't heard any other information about the case. Our next submission is a clip from a trail cam taken in the Arizona desert. By all appearances, we are looking at an alien being. The creature matches the description of encounters with aliens known as greys. They are described as having pale skin and humanoid characteristics. They are often popular features of modern stories of alien encounters and abductions. But are they real? And could this be an authentic video capture of one? If aliens, such as greys, have advanced enough technology to make contact with humans, it would make sense that they would be able to keep their identities secret. So why is this one standing directly in front of a camera? Odds are that we are looking at an edited video, but that doesn't necessarily mean that aliens don't exist. There have been too many alien encounters with eerily similar characteristics to discredit them entirely. But what do you think? Have you ever had an experience with a creature you believe to be from another planet? Tell your stories in the comments. Our last two videos of the day are a little more lighthearted. Take a look at this photo of a very forlorn buck who got himself caught in quite the predicament. 
This guy invaded an outdoor archery range and decided to have a fight with one of the 3D targets. Unfortunately, these targets are made of foam and were easily pierced by the buck's antlers. The deer doesn't look too happy with his situation, but not to worry. He should be able to rub the foam deer on a tree or other object to free himself from his unwanted friend. Our next video is that of a quiet, snowy woods. But wait, what's that walking between the distant trees? It's difficult to make out, being the subject is so far away, but it looks eerily like the form of a Bigfoot. However, the Bigfoot doesn't appear to see or hear the person filming and walks off in the opposite direction. Let's take another look. Is this actually a Bigfoot, or is this simply a person wearing dark clothing walking alone in the woods? It looks like the latter to me, but you can be the judge. A lone person walking off trail through the woods in the snow and rain with no hiking gear might be even more terrifying than running into a Bigfoot. Take a look at this image of a white-tailed deer. Something about it looks odd. Can you tell what it is? It has to do with the animal's face. It seems to have an odd expression. Maybe it was surprised by the camera, but there seems to be something more here. White-tailed deer are prey animals. They are flighty and run at even the slightest noise. If you watch deer in the wild, you can see they are constantly on the alert for danger. Like all other prey animals, their eyes are side-facing. This gives them a better range of view to watch for predators. Predators, on the other hand, have forward-facing eyes. This helps them to hunt. Can you see what's wrong with this deer now? Its eyes are in the wrong spot. The image itself is crystal clear with no signs of editing. If this is a fake, it's a very good one. So what's going on here? Is this just a mutant deer with a skull deformation? A deer with forward-facing eyes wouldn't do well in the wild. It would have a limited range of vision and would be more susceptible to attacks from predators. However, this specimen is clearly an adult and in good body condition. Does that mean we are looking at a predatory deer? Or perhaps a predator posing as a deer? It is widely known that shapeshifters have some difficulty creating an exact copy of the creatures they pose as. People who have reported encounters with shapeshifters have all said the same thing. Something was off about the creature. They might not have been able to identify it right away, but they knew something was wrong. Could that be what we are looking at in this image? I'll leave it to you to decide. Take a look at this footage taken by some hikers when they ventured a little too far off the marked trail. Here, seemingly in the middle of nowhere, we have what appears to be some sort of ritual going on. There is a naked person crouched on the forest floor in the middle of what looks to be a ring of fire. The person raises a cow skull over their head, making the theory of witchcraft more and more plausible. The question we have to ask ourselves is, are we actually looking at witchcraft caught on camera or is this a fake created to cause online outrage? The video is a little too close to make me think these hikers were able to stumble upon this person without them noticing sooner. But let's hear your thoughts on the matter. Our last image of the night is what appears to be some sort of horned creature walking on all fours through the brush. This creature doesn't bear any resemblance to any of the cryptids we know and love. So what could it be? It appears to have horns, so perhaps some sort of pale demon? Crawlers are reported as having ghostly white or gray skin, but they don't have horns nor tails, while this beast certainly has both. So, what are we looking at? The image is poor quality and difficult to tell. It could simply be an edited image, but you can judge for yourself. If you liked watching these videos, then consider subscribing. I release videos at least twice a week. Stay frosty and we'll see you in the next one.